there is an interesting topic around data platforms for less than 30 people. Yeah. Do's and don'ts of thinking about oh, it. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and then basically going into how to think about full stack versus not full stack and all yeah. that. Do we have time for that? I don't know, but it's fun. I mean, just short, it's that it's the first step for a company that builds tech things is that they need to understand that they want to do it at all. And then how to do it is uh, the second thing. But I feel like epidemic has gone to, a, we, we've been through the what should we do? We should have a data platform. Okay, great. Everyone is on board. Great. And we're almost kind of like how to do it. That's kind of uh, quite mature. So we can kind of maybe reap the fruits from that labor of ha having a senior data engineering team that takes care of that. Mm. So I don't need to go to the original, where is the stuff I need a WAV file? Where is it? Oh, it's on my inbox, on my email. Like what? So data platform, the fundamental that kind of stuff. Is that, that's a core component, I think, and it should be. And then you said something, this was before the blog, how, you know, fundamentally, even if you're a 30 man startup, it becomes quite important to think about these topics. I think so, yeah, yeah. It to stay relevant at least. I don't want to play the FOMO card, but. But no, but, but so, but like so you're, unpack, like uh, unpack, companies, product companies, data, is like not only something that you have, it's something that you build things with. And, and to acknowledge that this is a really important kind of sacred artifact that we want to do things with, that, that feels like it shouldn't be such a hard sell, but it can be like, okay, so the, the actual value, for, for example, with Epidemic Sound is that there is so much uh, high quality music data. Yeah. And they know this, and that's why it has a clean, API around it so you can work with it as a data scientist. Uh, but it, it's not like you knew it from the start. First, it's like, oh, yeah, we have this because that's what we sell to end users. They get this music. And like, oh, you can build things on it. Oh, that's novel. And this journey has to happen for companies that they understand that their data is actually the secret sauce. But, and, and here now comes back to the whole, uh, you know, my hometown with enterprises. Mm -hmm. And the, guess it's similar word, and the bus works with the CEOs. Oh, yeah. we want to be data driven. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or even worse, we want to be AI driven. Yeah. AI driven needs data driven, yep. needs you recognizing and preciously guarding your pristine data. And, you yeah. know, so it's a sacred, it's a really it's a, sacred it's a, thing. You know, and so if you don't have that fundamental understanding of the mm. sacredness of the data and mm. keeping it pristine and creating APIs so people can use it, yep. how can you ever say anything about AI driven and data driven if that fundamental core? Yep. Um, and, and to explain this to people, it can be quite rough. So I, li I like it when everyone knows this. The, what we're saying is basically we uh, assume a scientific approach is the best approach or the only really approach. We need to evaluate and have measures and numbers and the data has to be in the right order. So, so a scientific approach for anyone who hasn't done a PhD, you know, you damn need to have your data sets in order and quality pristine data in order to yep. draw your hypothesis and conclusions yep. on. So you, anyone can kill any scientific paper by just looking at your data set was shit or yeah, your yeah, data sure. quality was shit. Sure. So it's, it's, the, it's at the heart of a scientific approach. Yeah. And we're going to find that the, the companies will learn that the secret sauce to doing new product features is to really consider their existing data as like, oh, this is the fuel for the. Okay.